Welcome back to what we call Pastor Talks here at the Christian Church of Loudoun County. I take time every week and I share in my time in the Word in the hopes to be an encouragement to you in your walk with Christ. My prayer is that you take this encouragement and you share it with the people that God's placed in your life. Right now, there are a lot of people that are declaring uh, very emphatic, eternal um, things about um, whose side is this person or that person on um, and whose side is God on. And there's a very important thing that all of us uh, need to ground ourselves in. We find in the readings that have shown up over the last couple of days, um, but it's also peppered all throughout Scripture in numerous different formats. So let's, let's go to the word, Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, he is my God in whom I trust. This is the opening of Psalm 91, which is to help us understand that moving forward, what is laid out in this psalm is one that we can only recognize and we can only see when we do exactly that, when we rest in his shadow, when he is our fortress, when we say, he is my refuge, he is my fortress. In God, I place my trust. In verse nine, it says, or in verse six, it's, or yeah, excuse me, nine, it says, if you make the most high your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you. No disaster will come near your tent for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all of your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that they will not strike you and you will not strike your foot against the stone. You will tread upon the lion and upon the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent because he loves me, says the Lord. I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him from, from him from honor with long life and I will satisfy him to show him my salvation. We put our hope in, we put our trust in the Lord and what the Lord does, not in what we see, not in who we like. And regardless of what this world throws at us, there is an assurance that comes from scripture that no matter the outcome, no, no matter what might happen around us, there is an assurance in God's presence with us and that what we need when we are in his shelter, when we are in his fortress, when we trust in him, these things, the things that we need are always there for us. And so I'm gonna pray that peace and that reminder over you that regardless of how this world unfolds. And we know that biblically that there's a very clear arc. There's a very clear story that is unfolding that we've been given. God has not hidden anything from us. He told us exactly what all of this was going to look like. And so regardless of what we see in this world, regardless of what we see unfolding in front of us, we have this promise for those who put their trust in the name of the Lord. I'm gonna pray that we, that you, put our trust not in what we see, not in what we like, not in what makes sense to us, but we put our trust in him and in his plan, only in him. I'm gonna pray that over you. I hope the rest of your day is blessed. Father, thank you for the assurance that you are the only thing that matters, that in this world and in the turbulence and in the chaos and as this world beckons us to be afraid, and as this world beckons us to panic, and as this world beckons us to think of ourselves, Father, you remind us to always surrender, always humble, always look to you to provide what we need. Father, let it be from you. Father, let it be your protection. Father, let it be you who saves us. Let it be your salvation. Let it be your nourishment. Let us be satisfied by you, not by what we can touch or what we can understand. Thank you so much for Jesus. It's in his name that I pray, amen.